On the 14th of April, 2023, a cop responded to a 911 call reporting a retail theft. The dispatcher confirmed that an unidentified male and female had been shoplifting at a cosmetic store when the store employees caught them via CCTV. When the cop arrived at the scene, he looks out for the shoplifting duo. His goal is to prevent them from leaving the area. It is obvious the duo plans to make a quick getaway, but that will not be happening. Watch as the lady tries to use her dog as a getaway card. Stop. In the shade, both of you stop, I'm recording. Sit down right there. You're not free to go. If you take off running, we're gonna have an issue. Sit down! Stop, hey, sit down. I'm, I'm sit down or I'm gonna put you down. Can I get my, can I get my dog? This uh, is a truck! Here's what? what's gonna happen. I didn't do nothing! Sit down. Look, there's my purse! Sit down, sir, or we're gonna have an issue. Okay, I just... On your butt, My ma dog is gonna jump please. out of the truck. Please! Please! Where's your truck? Dog. It's right wow. there, please! Is it the red truck in yes, front? Yes, yes, he's gonna run away. Okay, I, I, here's sit my down purse. and we'll handle the dog. Here's my purse! Do you understand you're, under, you're being detained right now? Yes, I understand. Do you know why? They think you stole stuff from Walmart. I know. Okay, I didn't steal nothing. Here's my That's purse. That's fine. Sit down on your booty. Hey, please get my dog, please. Oh, we'll take care of the dog. Oh, please get my dog, please. You don't understand. Sit down. When a cop tells you to sit down, the best thing is to listen to what he says. Any sudden movement, and it will be assumed that the culprit is trying to flee. But this woman insists on going to check on her dog. I wonder if she thought about her dog before deciding to shoplift. At least the man does not make a fuss about getting arrested. Please let me get my dog, please. Don't resist, dude, because I will. I'm not resisting, man. You guys I, got, are I, with I got a broken collarbone, bud. Please don't go. I got a broken collarbone. Ah! Stop! 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 The chances you might be hit with a 50 zero, zero, zero units of electricity is high. Oh You're gonna have an issue with me. I didn't resist. I didn't want to get my dog. I didn't do enough. I just want him now. Nobody I just want to get my dog. they think they might get away with is immediately denying that they have committed any crimes. You can hear the duo repeatedly saying that they haven't done anything. This probably might not be their first crime, and if they had gotten away with it, surely they would be right back at the store doing the same thing. Oh my god! Oh, 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 I can't do anything. Oh, oh, I can't do anything. Oh, nobody was doing anything, man. She checked my purse. Nobody was trying to resist. Nobody was Dude, running. you wouldn't listen. Nobody was running from you. Nobody was I resisting. I was trying to tell you, man. I, I, know I was nothing but nice to you people. Stand I up. Know, I know, but. Stand up. I mean, you're my laser. Oh. I'm trying. My laser. Come from you shocking the shit out of me. Sit right here. Get my dog. That's all you guys. Sit. Eventually, the cop is able to get the duo into handcuffs. But their erratic behavior does not end there. They claim to have been handled unfairly, even after receiving repeated warnings to stay still. Backup finally shows up, and another cop has joined the scene. The cop checks in on the dog and, contrary to the owner's speculations, is waiting quietly, eye the front seat of the car. A very unfortunate day for this dog, as its owners continue to act up. What's up, pup? Nick, I'm assuming they haven't been searched yet. Hey, don't don't pull those because. All right, Ken, stand up. You got any needles on you? No, man. Stand up. I my legs are down, dude. I can't stand up. Like he just shocked the out of me. I lay on the ground and he's still just shocking the out of me. It goes five like seconds. He can't stop it. My head. Go ahead. You got any needles or anything on you? No, man. I have no needles. Busy as okay. He just shot 
out of it. The cop has to carry out a quick search to make sure the culprits are not carrying around any weapons or objects that can be used to escape. What well, year were you born, Ken? What year were you born? You can roll to your side. I don't know, man. I'm not using like what the f what what does using have anything to do with this? Like, well, you're you're starting to act all not. I busted my f head open, man. My head is f killing me. Like, what does drugs have anything to do with me f busting my head open? And my, I'm dizzy and my well, legs are shaking. Probably has something from to do with shot. why we got called to a retail theft. Shortly after, the cop finds a gun while searching the duo's truck. Do they even have a license to own one? Ida makes you wonder what their intentions were. Did they plan to rob the store and just settle for shoplifting instead? Yeah, I thought it was at first. It says DPMS on it. Can you stay, make sure this dog didn't hop out? The cop explains to the duo why their actions were unnecessary and what they could have done to avoid getting injured or receiving forceful treatment. The fall from the taser has left a cut on the man's bald head that needs immediate attention. Amy, is this black bag yours? Yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's what she was carrying. Did that's I tell you you were not free to go? I told you we were being detained and not free to go. I was even polite enough to put those handcuffs in front of you, was I not, sir? Because of your shoulder injury. Sir, you started walking away, then you came up on me hot because I tried to put her in handcuffs because she started walking away. I, I, all I was doing was talking to you. I wasn't hot. I wasn't aggressive. Yeah. All I said is, You said, don't put her in handcuffs. I said, please don't, don't throw her on her stomach. She has I, I She her kept her pulling away. I, I just wanted to check on her. Did I not tell you before that? Did I not tell you? He's the only... He don't do no I love dogs. I'm going to check on your dog. But you guys wouldn't get with the program. If you guys would have got with the program, we'd have been sitting there. Somebody was coming to check on your dog. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. I've so never done can we go back to zero? Can we start over where we were here? Please and thank you. Holy guacamole. You probably have a headache, don't you? Let me see where these probes are. The man gets taken away by the paramedics once they've checked his injuries. The cops allow the woman reunite with her dog while they continue to investigate. They're searching it right now. Right? Go either one. Yeah, okay. I thought it was always the drugs. I think they changed it. We can go either. Okay, we'll find out what he wants and then we'll talk to you guys on the track. Ken, you want to go to St. Joe or Brome? You tell me, my man. Uh, Which house do you normally go to? Okay. Uh, yeah. There you go. It's a nice, comfy uh, towel right there, all right? Which house do you normally go to? Where do you live? Can I have a drink? <gasps> do you have water in there? I can I look? I think so. No, you can't look, okay. but I will. Okay. 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 Do you want to sit down on over here? Um, well, I was going to stand by him. Is that okay? My rookie? <sighs> Hold on, sorry. Uh, can I have some more honey? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The woman ends up getting charged for resisting arrest. So here's the deal. Okay. I'm going to forward charges for resisting. Okay. Okay. Because okay. I'm going to be honest. I think if you would have stayed sat down, I know. then Kenny wouldn't have been tased because Kenny wouldn't have think, thought he could have run away. And then Kenny wouldn't have seen me trying to put you on the ground yeah. and tased I her. And then, I, I feel bad. Right? And then ran at me. And then me think that I'm going to get overpowered or have to fight two people. If you thought this duo was crazy for shoplifting and trying to get away with it, this next family will leave you at the edge of your seats. Family caught shoplifting. Tears, arrests, and stolen goods. It's the 2nd of April in 2022, and the Chambly Police Station has received a call about a shoplifting incident at Von Maur store, a spot in Perimeter Mall, Atlanta, Georgia. The scene unfolds as officers arrive at the parking lot of the mall to find a female suspect along with her husband and their toddler preparing to leave. The officer proceeds to put the woman in handcuffs while explaining why she is being arrested. 
The woman immediately announces that she does not have anything in her possession. Hi. No, we got that shit right back there. All right. Yeah, we got that shit right back there. I don't got nothing. Okay, no worries. Uh, any guns, weapons, bazookas, anything of that nature is going to hurt me, prod me. Relax, one second, relax. One second. We will talk to you just a minute, okay? We got called in because they were seeing her shoplifting, okay? So I want the shoplift, that's all. We're going to go back to the store and figure that out real quick, okay, ma'am? Can you ma get my phone? Relax, okay? I got it. To properly investigate, the officers must bring the woman back into the store and probably give her a chance to explain herself. Meanwhile, an employee shows up with even more interesting news of an accomplice. So hold let me on, explain to you real quick. Hold on, let me hold talk. On. Hold on, let, let, me let, talk real let quick, him okay? go, and then. So you told me that you, they got their stuff back. Yes, sir. I'm assuming that you could, you were trying to shop them. No, no, no. So no, no. they're pretty charging. Another girl. Another girl. But they just excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. But my brother's back. Did you see me? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, sir. West, 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 west direction. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank Ma'am, where did the other girl go? I don't know which way she went, but they was all together. I knew that the guy was trying to get bad with me, so I was like, I just quite fell back. But she got long, uh, curly weave on here. Yeah. Here, dark female, black sweatshirt, gray black, sweatpants. Gray sweatpants? And, and like curly hair? I'm on. While searching the perimeters for any signs of a theft and for the other mystery shoplifter, they come across a bag from a Macy's store. Now that they have more evidence, the cops will move the culprit to the loss prevention team who are responsible for preventing damage and theft in any retail environment. Seems this is more their style to handle. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. At first, the woman sitting in the back of a cop car denies taking part in the shoplifting and tries to get the police to look for the unidentified accomplice. People will say anything to get out of admitting to a crime, even going as far as using her own child's name to lie. Because I didn't put nothing in no bag. I didn't steal no anything. They got their stuff back. She put that stuff in the bag. I didn't steal nothing. Please, sir, my baby birthday tomorrow. Please, God, please. I just can't. Please, please, sir, please. You please. I didn't steal anything, sir. I promise you. You can go confirm on the video. Birthday. I didn't put nothing in that bag. I didn't. She did. I am letting you know, sir. I promise you, we come that tomorrow. She ran under cars. She ran under cars. That's it. She was right there. So when y'all came down, she ran under cars, sir. I promise you, on my child, she ran under these cars somewhere. Y'all gotta have an officer out here. She's somewhere out here. Yeah, I have to. Finally, at the loss prevention office, the search and interrogation can begin. The officers will look through CCTV footage at the store to determine their own truths. The woman scared for her future, and knowing she could get caught quickly, names her accomplice. I talk to the, I need to go talk to her, okay? Yes. You need to calm down, take okay. a deep breath, okay? Yeah, the lady just so, on her birthday tomorrow. I'm telling okay. you everything. Okay. She's coming here still. I came here to get find us some white F ones. <laughs> We're gonna go take a wrap right here, okay, ma'am? Can I get a ticket? I thought I was not, I was not stealing, sir. A ticket for what? I don't, I don't know. I just know I was not stealing. Hi, good to see you. Give me just a second, all right? Yes, ma'am. 
Can you please I can you, put can you, can you, in can you relax, relax for me, okay? You take a seat for me, okay? Relax, please, okay? This is my baby birthday yeah. tomorrow. I'm gonna take off your shirt, okay? <laughs> I can't even get the shoes. Um, I won't be able to take it off. I need to check it. Make sure this thing inside, okay, man? You're not getting inside. You wanna check it real quick and we go from there on out, okay? Yes, sir. Please don't do this birthday tomorrow. I have money. I have everything. I wasn't coming to stay or nothing. Just okay. so relax for me, okay? Sir. <laughs> <laughs> I work at a daycare and everything. I was not coming to steal. I cannot lose my job or nothing, please. <laughs> The knowledge of the situation she's in begins to set in and the young lady gets hysterical. At this point, her child's father is also being considered as an accomplice and the situation could get tricky for the couple. Do me a favor. Deep breaths. I, 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 I hear what you're saying and I'm computing what you're saying, okay? But what we gotta do is we gotta get you down, slow down just a little bit, okay? Alright? We'll take this one step by step, okay? Alright? And I know sitting in handcuffs is not the most ideal thing in the world, okay? But I want you to be just understand where we're at, okay? And then we'll, we'll take it from there about figuring out who your friend is and getting her charged with the shoplifting, okay? Am I going to jail? I don't know yet. Please, I, baby part I, I, hear, I, I hear what you're saying. And I sympathize with you, but I do not know yet. I do not know all the facts, okay? Please, ma'am, please. I need to... Well, let's, let's get some deep breaths in. Let's get some deep breaths in, okay? I just can't get out of the room. And she was doing... And you know what year your, um, I guess, boyfriend's car is? You know what year that Chevy is? Because it's not registered properly. A 20, a 20, a 20, 12, I don't know. 2012? Okay. Because I got to figure that out next. You know? And he was not very, um, let's just say, respectful. What did he do? He, um, basically kept interrupting when we're trying to explain, like, nicely, you and I are having a conversation <laughs> and we're respecting each other, right? You probably just don't know. He, yeah, and when we say slow down, hold a minute. You know, he just keeps talking and talking over us. And then he's trying to talk to the loss prevention officer, right? And just creating chaos, you know? And the last thing we want to do is do this in front of your three-year-old. Or two, two, excuse me, I'm sorry, two. turn two tomorrow, man, I know. please. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry. Well, ultimately, I don't know exactly all that's going on, you know? The female police officer describes what her future could look like depending on what the officers find during the review of the footage. Will she get arrested or will she be released on the spot? There's two paths, okay? okay. I'm going to take you down the first path and I'm going to take you down the second path, okay? The first path is if there's enough probable cause to say that you were shoplifting, this is all theoretical, okay? If there's enough probable cause to say that you were shoplifting and your friend Maya no, well, I'm Maya. You're Maya. Okay, yes. your friend Kiba. Kita is also shoplifting, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, with your help, we'll identify who Kita is mm -hmm. with her Instagram and all that kind of stuff and her phone number and, you know, that kind of stuff. And then if you do have to go to jail, you just post a little bond and then they bond you out. That's one path, okay? The other path is you can possibly be released on citation if you if if we have enough probable cause and let me do a third path if there's not enough probable cause then we will basically write a big report about all that what happened and you will not be issued this issue issued a citation or go to jail okay the footage easily reveals that the young lady was in fact shoplifting as she was accused by the staff employees in a desperate plea she begins to beg the store employees not to press charges but the time for that is long gone. Okay, ma'am, so um, I'll sell the video footage. You are being arrested for shopping today, okay? Listen, sir, she was putting stuff in the bag, sir. You knew 
what she was doing. Sir, let me speak. Sir, if you keep interrupting me, I'm not gonna okay. be able to explain to you. I'm not gonna explain nothing. Okay. All I gotta tell you is being arrested for shoplifting. That's it, okay? Okay. So if you let me speak, I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you step by step what's going on, okay? <laughs> Can you please get this book first to my son, Dad? So my name is Darlene Maya. I'm going to go over my uh, paperwork. Oh, you should be in trespass from my store from a life, for a lifetime. You're not able to come to me. Go to my store. Can you please stay. just get there? I will never come back to your store again, ma'am. I got a job and everything. Sir, can I please, please work with me, They're sir. pressing charges. Well, we're going to the Cap County, okay? Look that, Cap County? Cap, Cap no, County no, can you go to Fulton County? We're in Cap so, County, not Fulton County. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse I'm me. Sorry, uh, can you please not touch your eye? I didn't touch nothing, ma'am. When you came to me, I made sure you got your items. I didn't take anything. Please, ma'am. Can you please not press charge? We all black and don't do this. Ma'am, my son's second birthday tomorrow. I can't miss it. Ma'am, I'm going to need you to roll your voice back and go straight to the car, okay? I can't miss it. Please, ma'am. All right, so the elements of shoplifting, okay? Do you understand the elements of shoplifting? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Please. Please, ma'am. My little birthday tomorrow. I, I explained. I calmly explained the past. Is to this you. still your current address? 2817? Yes. What's a good contact number for yourself? Unfortunately for the suspect, she will be missing her son's birthday as she gets charged with theft by shoplifting. He next destination is the DeKalb County Jail. Next up, watch this duo try to flee from the police. Walmart shoplifting duo get busted after thinking they can flee police. On the 25th of February, 2022, cops arrive at the scene of a shoplifting at a Walmart store. The store employees noticed that a woman who had trespassed at the store in the past was back again, and this time she was stealing and concealing a bunch of items. While trying to apprehend the thief, she fled. The police arrive on scene to a chase. The store employees are running after the duo, two ladies, as they try to get away. The police immediately join the chase and even gets his hands on one of the girls before their car pulls away. But it doesn't end there. Stop! You better stop. Go. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Three or four. Oh, yeah, show me out there. Ah. The officer at the scene calls for back and gets all the details of what really happened from the employees at the scene. The account of what transpired in addition to the CCTV footage all point to the fact that a shoplifting had occurred. Wait. First digit. They're going out towards 4th Street. And they get it's to make a Impala. It's gonna be a Chevy Impala. It's like a black female driver. The uh, subject yeah. evaded and resisted. The female has a violet that's um, the leopard tree. You can get a charge too. I just didn't want to hang on too much because no, no. I'm not gonna get caught in that door. Yeah, for a speaker? Yeah. An officer says stop, yeah, stop. Because now we're gonna file this and we're yeah, gonna get a whole bunch of extra yep. Hoof, hoof. Who saw everything? Well, they were all, oh, doing, they're it all there. doing it. He went. He, so I think um, Brady got the selection on the speaker. By the time I met up, he had the speaker next to the backpack, and then I watched him take it out of the packaging and put it in the backpack. And I think Marshall seen it as well. We can do a statement, right? We, yeah, we did all right. I gotta head to work. Um, but yeah, don't worry about it. Just but I just gotta get time. everybody who saw info. Okay. Was everything recovered or? Yes. Yeah. Where'd she drop the stuff at? Oh, it was a female. No, it was, it was a. I think it was a female. That's a female? I, I thought think. it was a dude just uh, with huge. Look, according to this, yeah. I'm being serious. Look, oh, wow. That's a female. Yeah, that's a female. They must be lesbians. It has to be. Or family. I don't that, know. That looks like a dude. At first, from my point of view, yes, I could not tell. The officers have traced the vehicle all the way to a house, and the officers find the two women still seated in the car waiting. The woman seen getting away at the store has taken off her hoodie in order to deceive the officers. But as the officer pulls up to the window, she claims that she was being attacked, and that was the reason why she fled. 
The police officer politely explains that she was seen fleeing the scene of a shoplifting and evading an officer. The suspect is on probation. Hello. We rolled the back window down for me. Oh, Seven forty-five. All right. Okay. Yes, I just came from Walmart. Yes, ma'am, you sure did. Right they just tried to attack you me. Tried to call call you, you, you had an officer. Yes, ma'am. He just tried to attack me when I came yes, out. Yes, ma'am. I took off and he scratched me. You know, yes, you know, seven home. Miami. Was okay. Six, there to three or four right. Re resisting an officer and evading the scene is not how you solve that problem, right? Well, I was scared. Like I had six people on me. They're I doing. Have... They're doing um, a shoplifting scene. I so mean, I went in there to go get a headlight. Okay. I have my toxic lock. I have a speaker, and I have a pair of boxes that belong to my brother that is in that bag. Okay. That was already in the bag when I went to Walmart. All right. Do you have your license with you or an ID of some sort? No, ma'am. This I'm, I was going around the corner to go talk to my mom, but I live in the corner. Okay. What's your name? The officer gives the suspect a chance to tell her on side of the story. She denies any involvement in the shoplifting and claims she only left the store after finding out they didn't have what she wanted. I didn't go anywhere in the store. All I did was go straight to the auto. I asked the man if he had the light bulb. He said they don't have my specific light bulb in. I walked out to electronics to see if, because my phone is broke. Okay. So I tried to see if they had a phone, like an uh, unlocked phone for straight talk. Okay. And the lady said they didn't. The only one they had was the 11 and I was like, so after that, I went out to the uh, garden center. A whole bunch of people started coming at me, scratching me, pulling on me. And I got scared, so I, I got in the car. Okay. And then the officer got his hand on his gun. I got scared. I got in the car. I'm on probation. I didn't okay. Leave. Well, we made a series of not so wonderful decisions. Okay, so now we're going to have to kind of work it out, okay, and figure out what's going to happen, what's going on. Do you all know who lives here or just where you pulled over? This is where I, I pulled, pulled over. I was okay. around this corner over here. I live straight up the road. Okay, okay, yeah. The officer calls for backup as she needs to bring both of the women into custody. Their reaction to both of them being arrested proves that they do not understand what the wrong they have committed. The main suspect vouches for her friend's innocence in the matter, but as the driver, her friend is also an accomplice to the crime. She's taken off her hoodie and placed it in the back. She completely admitted to everything, says she got scared, and that's why she ran off. Of course, you going to be charged with theft, uh, evading, and also the driver so I just left the registered owner's house because I drove by, I was headed to Ethel, and they, they saw, they tried to duck, duck me a little bit, obviously, yeah. but, they didn't even live here, they pulled in no, they just pulled in here, yeah. get off the road, because yeah. they saw my lights coming, hey, so we're going to 95 both, per Sergeant West, so, yeah. okay, uh, Sarge said you take, yeah, and then I'll do a supplement, so if you want to go ahead. Yeah. Do you want to just watch that side? Okay, Victoria. All right, I have a question. Can you, yes. since we're right up the road, can she uh, drop my car for my sister? Can you take my car? No. No. Is she going to? She's going to. She didn't have anything to yes, do with it. Yes, because you, when the officer... I'm going to jail again. Oh, okay. I okay. swear to God, y'all, it That's was all me. Yeah. Like, let's, let's, let's just take this. <laughs> it was all me, y'all, I swear. Can she call her mom? Yeah, once we get in the clinic and I made her drive, she didn't even know what I was going to do. Both women are handcuffed and transferred into the police vehicle. The police at the shoplifting scene explains what really happened, while the officer searches the car for any stolen properties or evidence the two women might have concealed. Okay, but what? That's, that's our big... Siri had nothing to do with it. I just want you to watch your step, okay? I don't want you to trip. Man. And we're going to go. We'll go on the outside. We go the other side. But she didn't have anything to do with me. She didn't even know what I was going for. Is there anything in the car that you need? No. Okay, okay. I just need to, need to be phone. on this. Your phone? Okay, I'll grab it for it's you. It's in my glove box. Okay. Okay, she just wants her phone out of the glove box. What kind of property did they get, or did they not make it everything up? Was, everything was dumped. Okay. So they don't have any stolen right. property in the car? No, they... So what happened was, I'm a security, and uh -huh. uh, they saw her conceal 
and then go into the group, uh, not the group, to the uh, auto part. Out, outdoor area. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Plant, whatever. So I see them stop her, and then she takes off running. Uh-huh. There's a car. Car starts up, and I'm being on the side of police and all that good stuff. And uh, and then uh, she jumps in the car. And I grab her before she's able to close the door. She's on her stop, get out of the car. The driver can't hardly get the car started. She finally gets it started. She the door and takes off. Oh, okay. That's where I got the evasion on her. She knew that you were stopping her. Okay. I was right there in the door. I was like, where am I police uniform? Okay. I'm stopping her and trying to pull her out. And she's, you know, about 10, 15 seconds trying to start the car. And then takes off, almost oh. dragging me along with it. So okay, okay, her. okay. Um, I didn't know because they have like a JBL speaker in here that's like practically brand new, navy blue, brand new cord. And so I didn't know if that was. No, no telling. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do the procedure and supplement my report. Okay. She, she right. admitted to it. Yeah, she admitted to it. I got it on BWC. What the driver has to say. Uh, she said she didn't know what was going on, she was scared, all this other stuff. The officers arrest the main suspect and charges her with theft by shoplifting, resisting of an arrest. They also charge the driver with evading detention by helping her friend to flee the scene. While these women were unsuccessful at fleeing the scene, the first instinct for most offenders remains to run instead of simply listening to the officers. This next will show you what I mean. Caught shoplifting at Walmart. An afternoon with Las Cruces Police Department, an officer on patrol receives the call for assistance at the scene of a shoplifting on the 8th of May, 2019. The store is a Walmart store at South Valley, and just like the others, the culprits are on the run. What makes this particular video so concerning is that there are multiple culprits from this particular Walmart store shoplifting incident, and they are all trying to escape the scene. This is a job for more than one officer. The police go after a number of culprits seen running out of the store. The officers around this store must have their hands full dealing with shoplifting incidents like this regularly. Hey, come here! Please stop! Sorry. No, we're these we What'd you run from me then? I got scared, bro. Who are you scared of? I wasn't even looking for you. I have bad past experiences, man. Well, probably because you run from the cops, dude. Yeah, first time. This is no, your first second. time running from the cops? Second. Second. 98 on I'm waiting for his return because I, I hope it's him and he didn't just conceal on me. It wasn't him. He has no reason to run. Okay. So I just happened to find out who you were suitor. So that's why. I... The officers interrogate a woman suspected to have tried to shoplift at the store. She left the store with a bag of good without paying for it. She claims she went to get a parking ticket, but the officer tells her she will receive a charge for shoplifting. Well, I can't hear you. I don't have any idea that that could be worse than no idea? No. What do y'all have on her? Uh, she walked out with that stuff. So she walked out with stuff. Yeah, but I mean, they look like they can't even. I just grabbed the bags and they all been carrying it. I swear, I'm like, oh, this is not going to be a lot of stuff. like they're paying oh, the they, She walked out with the stuff mm -hmm. and then they kind of like, that's it. And the jewelry in the machine. Self check. Yeah. yeah, and then like, that was like, as she's walking out with the stuff. She had already walked out beforehand and then they were like pretending to put money in there and then they, mm -hmm. they just kind of just like, what, 30 seconds be after her? So. And while they were standing, I was actually trying to get assistance because I thought it wouldn't stand anymore. Mm -hmm. So I left to go get assistance, like to look for someone. Well, you're going to be charged with shoplifting. This is her. Thank you, sir. There's a guy that you guys got over there if you can do trespass. Hoyt Emin? He's not already trespassed? The other one? The other one. Okay. Because I don't know his name. With no past warrants, the woman only receives a citation for shoplifting, to which she will need to appear in court at a later date. For now, she is free to go and will not be arrested, but she still faces a fine of about $1.500, depending on what the judge thinks. I request you trespass on him as well. What about the other female? Uh, uh female. Yeah, there was, there was another female. It was two males. It was only two males. They must have met up when they got out there then. Maybe, yeah. All right. You're being charged with shoplifting simply because of the fact that you passed the point of sale without purchasing items, okay? I don't believe that you didn't know that they hadn't paid for it. You should have stayed there. You should have stayed there. I guess I should have, but I really wasn't honest to say. It really was. I have money. I have no reason to fucking get in on it. I have money out to get them for my part. Like, there's no... 
What's your address, Ms. Lozano? Phone number? Social? How much do you weigh? Just color your eyes, bro. You're going to receive a citation for the shoplifting, okay? Do you have any warrants or anything? If you don't have any warrants, you'll get your citation and you'll be free to go once we're done, okay? You'll just have to appear in municipal court within three business days, and I'll explain all that to you in just a second. They're at the Walmart on Valley 871. It has a Hoyt MM with a couple 40s, if you can head to Central. 855 Central, too. 855. Copy of Social. Uh, Alright, you do not have any warrants, so you're just going to receive a citation today for shoplifting, okay? So you'll have until next Wednesday to appear in this court, 135 East Griggs, for your arraignment, basically is what it boils down to, instead of being arrested and going to jail today. Alright? Ready to appear will re result in a warrant for your arrest. You just sign right there for me. Shoplifting? Uh, shoplifting carries a fine of maximum $500 and 90 days in jail if found guilty. You ever been in trouble in Las Cruces before? No? Municipal court. And it's written right there on the top, 135 East Creeks, downtown, okay? You guys done with her? The officer escorts the woman out the building, informing her that she has now been banned from visiting all Walmart stores in the future. The other officers have picked up another suspect. Lozano, you can't come back to this Walmart or any other Walmart, okay? The man ends up in jail for giving a false name and running when the police approached him while he is walking near the Walmart store. He was arrested two weeks after the incident for resisting the arrest. With a number of warrants already attached to his name, it would be a bit sticky for this young man. That doesn't count because it's not you, but you're not getting charged with that because it wasn't you. So I had to go do a warrant because the time had passed, like two weeks ago, so now I had to get a warrant to charge you with what I originally was going to charge you with. So it's still misdemeanor charges. Does it just, work right there? Yeah, that's why I had to get the warrant. Like, instead of just coming down here and giving you another ticket, I can't do that because technically the time in which I had to do the citation is passed because it was like two weeks ago. Yeah, so if it's passed, completely passed, then how can you hit me with something that's... Oh, no, I, I have six months to charge you with the crime. Oh, from the no day, shit. Yeah, from the day that it happens, I have six months to charge you with the resisting and the concealing because that's when it happened. Okay. So, I just happened to find out who you were sooner, so that's why it's still misdemeanor stuff. Out? I looked at the DC page, and I was like, Vincent Montano? I was like, hmm. And I What's clicked. What's the DC? The, they put your picture on the website, the Doniana County oh, Detention one. Center. So <laughs> yeah, so they put your picture on the website, that's how I figured out who you were. So. Okay, so now I still go and you do yeah, you, what I need to do? Or? Yeah, you still got to go to municipal court. I don't know, do you have charges prior? Because you have a couple warrants, right? Yeah, I just have a... Do you have anything out of municipal court that you're going to go take care of? No. Okay, when you get out, you'll probably have to go straight to municipal court. I'm not getting out. Oh, well... I'll probably go to court tomorrow. He is also being charged with forgery for lying to the cops about his name and signing a ticket with the said name. This made it difficult for the officers to deliver his citation since they couldn't find him. Luckily, the pictures from his previous warrants fixed that. So, they wanted to do the forgery, the felony for you signing the ticket, because technically you signed it under a fake name, but we couldn't get a hold of the... the first charges. So that's why it's just misdemeanor shit. So. They were gonna charge him with forgery? Yeah, because you signed the ticket under the detectives. What detectives? The detectives with our agency, because it's, it's a felony. It's a fourth degree felony to sign somebody else's name. I didn't sign someone else's name though. You signed I scribbled. Be happy, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, bro. You're getting right, concealing right, and right. resisting, alright? Alright. That's it. Lying to the cops is in bad taste. But what happens when this next couple betray each other to the cops? Target shoplifting suspects rats on fiance for stealing with her. The police responded to the call on the 25th of August, 2023. The couple were separated when the officer pulled up to the scene, but the woman does not waste any time pointing out that she is not alone in this. Walking away from the police is one thing, but then throwing the stolen goods and attempting to flee from the officer is another thing. Unfortunately for her, she is not getting away that easily. 
She shouts for her partner to come and save her, but this isn't a job for superheroes. I swear to God, put it down there. Stop. Put it down here, babe. Yo. Mark, put it here. Stop. Come here. Here. Stop. Babe. Babe, help. Oh, so I'm going out there in front of. In front of. Babe, help. Babe, help. Babe, help. Babe, help. Babe, help. You're under arrest, stop. For what? For what? Babe, help me. Babe, help. Yo, so I'm out with her. In front of the four dealerships. Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Okay. Babe, help me. You're making this way worse for yourself. I'm not, I didn't do anything. You're making this way worse for yourself. Can I get, can I get up, please? Real quick. I can't breathe. Please. Yeah, turn around. Can I get up, please? Can I get up, please? Quick. Handcuffed and being interrogated by two officers, this female suspect does not waste any time spilling the tea on her accomplice. She offers up her fiancé on a platter telling the officers where to go to search for her. The two are staying at a motel nearby. Where are you coming from? Marshalls. Marshalls? Yeah. Where else? Mar <laughs> Marshalls, and I went to hey, Sierra. My fiancé was at Target. That's who, that's who yeah. you're looking for. She's wearing a white shirt and, and gray shorts. Okay. That's I telling well, you they, said she a, they said a female. Yeah, that's her. It's, it's, a, it's a female. Yeah. She has short hair, white shirt, gray pants. That's who you're looking for. That's not me. That's somebody. That's, that's yeah. That's wrong. Now. She's down there. I swear to God, she's down there. I, I, I just left. That's where I was going. What? I was telling you that she's down there. Okay. Yeah, but when I told you to stop, you started running away from me. Okay. Nothing. I I went to the to, to Marshall. She's no really you're looking for her. No I don't know. I'm telling you know that you're not looking for me. Looking for her. She's she's down there. The officers have to interrogate the suspect to find out if she has any warrants and what she's doing around the area. She continues to encourage the officer to look for her partner, pinning the crime on her. What this lady doesn't realize is she could have gotten away with it if she did not run when she saw the police. The description of the culprit the store gave did not fit her description. You got any warrants? No. Nothing you know of? No, I don't. Where are you from? Burton County. Where are you from down here? Um, I'm living down here right now because I'm, I'm homeless. So I'm living down in there with my fiance and my, and my friend. What's your fiance's name? Her name is Catherine. Catherine Watt. Um, last name is Henderson, H A N D E R S O N. She's right down there in the room. That's who What's I, your room? I heard her What's the room 105. I heard her calling for the woman outside of Target calling for her. And I told her to just stop and like, just stop. Backup arrives and the officers gather, trying to make sense of this situation. Not often do you find culprits who rat on each other. But this woman is intent of getting the officers to understand that she did not commit the crime, but her partner did. With the partner still AWOL, the officers cannot determine what has happened. She's saying that the other one, we're looking for her fiance, which is another female. 105, 105 she or... Michelle, Michelle, number 105 or 105 105. or 104. Describe it with a clothing mask. Oh but I wasn't really about the because they said short blonde hair. No, no, these are perfect. Like, that's why I was like... I mean, no, get her first, get, watch the video and see what the other one's involvement is, get a look at her, and then we'll go over there. But for now, you could probably just take her in. Well, she has a black hair for a short period, so... All right, so we'll turn that back over? Yeah. Saying that I guess there's stuff in her bag that she was able to the cops have decided to bring her into custody, but they must remind her that lying is going to the cops is going to count against her once they find out what the truth is. At this point, she begins to confess, admitting that she might have stolen some things. Put your feet in the car for right now. Yes. Why mm -hmm. don't you head over there and just bring that? Yeah, bring it all and okay. see what see what she paid for and didn't yeah. pay for. Okay. Put the phone with her. That other stuff. She says hers, right? She says she has a receipt on the phone. I mean, you want to uncover, let her pull it up. I highly doubt it's going to be there, but you never know. It could be completely wrong. What's your name? What's your name again? I forgot. I'm sorry. Hannah. Hannah? Mm -hmm. And your other one's Catherine? Is that what you said? Catherine with a K, yeah. Catherine with a K. And you're Hannah? Hannah, yeah. Oh, Hannah, do you want to show us your receipt? I mean, I'll be honest with you, everything over there, it's like a casino. We're going to find out what you stole and what you didn't stole. If you're lying to us that there's a receipt on here, it's not going to do you any good in the way. 
it, 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 it's over at this point. So do you really have a receipt on here or do you not have a receipt on here? I have a receipt for, for, for part of them and not all of them. I'll, I'll be honest with you. All right, all right. So there is certain things that you paid for and certain things that you didn't. Yes, yes sir. All right. All right, do you, want to, do you want to pull that up? You don't have to show us. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's up to you. We're, we're going to go to the sewer and we're going to find I'm out. just going to scan in. They're going to tell us what was taking all this. Yeah. Wasn't. That's It'll just speed things along if, if you want to show us, but it's totally your decision. We're not going to go in your phone unless you give us consent. Okay, well, I can show you what wasn't and what was. If you want. No, that's all right. Okay. That's all right. We'll hold off. We'll, we'll just hold take off. over we'll there. We'll just go all over there. At least you're being honest, though. I yeah, appreciate I, I appreciate it. I know. I know. I, know. I got you. I got you. It's not the end of the world. Back at the store, the officers try to get a hang of what actually happened. The employee at the store discredit the suspect, saying that she paid for any of the items she took. There's footage of the suspect and her partner stealing items and trying to get away with it. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. So we got the one of the two. We got the one that had the black bag. Okay. So she has merchandise in here. So she wasn't being 100% truthful with us, but she said some of that is hers, that she had a receipt but doesn't have... She said it's on her phone, but she doesn't have it with her. Is there a way you guys can tell? Yeah. So she's saying she bought a few things and stole the rest. So yeah. you know for sure what was taken? I mean, she never goes to the register, but I'll be able yeah. to find that stuff. I yeah. can run it and yeah. find no transaction by her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So All right. you can even go to a register today? All right, and then she stole it all. Yeah. I mean, if she didn't even go to a register, let her go to court and figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Good. She told, didn't she say she had it, like she yeah. went up and paid for something? Yeah. Yep. Exactly. And if she didn't go to the register, then it's all stolen. Yep. All right. Yeah, just, I'll just grab this. Anything that's your item that appears new is just a mess. It's a mess. It doesn't have to be on camera. Yep, that's definitely her. You said there's another female? Is that who she's with? Or this is who she's with? Okay. Now that the officers have confirmed the existence of the partner, they can work on searching for her. With the description from the CCTV footage, they have something to work with. But the officers aren't worried. They have a pretty good idea where the culprit might be. The other subject's going to be a short, white female with short hair, white t-shirt, and a backpack. Possibly stole some other shirts. Yeah, she sucks it all, brings the car around. Backpacks off, and everything's in charge of all. Well, this is what we were watching in real time. Yeah, yeah. Saw her outside going to meet her, and then I put it together. I was like, yeah. oh, I remember yeah. these two. Cool. The officers are going to confirm with an attendant that the suspect in custody did not, in fact, pay for the goods she was found with. The attendant would scan the goods and compare with their registry to see what's been sold and what hasn't been paid for. Yeah, so probably everything in here is what she had. I just want to make sure there's no weapons or anything. I'm just going... I found this stuff already. You want me to go with you when you scan it? Yeah. Just, yep. Mike, I'm going to walk out with her while she scans it. Yep. Yeah, with you. Yep. I gave the Okay, I'm just grabbing. I'll follow you with I should have gotten out of there. So nice <laughs> Can I borrow your device real quick? Mm -hmm. Just to log on to the register. Wait, I'm not logged in. Oh, I'll yeah. log. <laughs> I'll log myself. <laughs> Thanks, Yep. Yeah. Um, we have a thing where people were using that register and giving us all cash back. Yeah. Uh, this is all from one person. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, this is the other girl. So the one you guys were watching, mm -hmm. it's the other girl who had okay. the dark long hair. Gotcha. So when I was in there with Chris, I saw her taking. So the one with the backpack. This one we don't have the merchandise. Right, but 
I think we know where she is. Okay. The scan reveals that the entire bag of items were things the culprit pickpocketed from the store. They can fully charge the lady for theft by shoplifting at this point. All signs show that she stole those items. The stuff that she didn't pay for was her, her three lighters, a box knife, and like a... That's like her stuff. That's her, that's, yeah, so she's clearly... Uh, uh, yeah. I don't think she used that knife to cut anything over. No, really no, like nope, it. nope, nope, nope. I think it's just at the bottom of this. Ready? There's something Okay. The police show up at the motel looking for the accomplice, but are met by a different person. At first, this individual is reluctant to help, but when the officers explain that hiding the suspect could blow things out of proportion, she has a change of heart. Yes. Hello, how are you? Good. Is Catherine around? Who's Catherine? Catherine, white girl with short hair? Not that I know of. Not that you know of? Not that I know of. Is there anyone of. else in there with you? No, not that I know of. I just got in here. I was next door, so Okay. I don't know. Is this... We just take a quick look. We're just looking for Catherine I can't give you permission else. to do that. Is this your place? No, it's not my place. Whose it's place not. is it? It's A1's. It's A1's. Who's A1? He's a good friend of mine. Okay. But I can't give you permission. Okay. Uh -huh. Do you know where the girl with short hair? Does she stay here or stay... I don't room? know. You see, I just, here's the thing. There's a minor thing that happened. Uh, we're just trying to end it right now. Otherwise, we got to put a warrant out for her. She's going to go right to the county jail. It's a little thing. If she's here, boom, 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 summons on her way. But if we don't find her today, she got a warrant, she goes right to jail. So you can... All right. All right. Okay. okay. I just, we just got to leave this a little bit. You can, you can close her right there. Finally, after a long wait, the culprit rushes out of the house and into the waiting arms of the police. She is handcuffed and taken to the station where she would be charged for shoplifting.